All right then guys, welcome to the video, welcome back to the channel, and we've got a few final little touches for the EP3 today, as well as a trip to Cafe New Machine in the S2000. Funnily enough actually, this piece, as I was setting up for this shot, arrived from Carbon My Ride, so huge shout out to Carbon My Ride for sending this out to me. So first up, let's get this piece out of the box and let me show you what I've got. It's like Carbon My Ride answered my prayers from one of my previous videos, because I said that I wanted to replace this. This is, well as you can see, a spark plug cover, like replacement piece for the one that I've already got. I got this as part of a bundle years and years ago as you can see it's super faded and yellowing looks horrible but also the weave goes the opposite way to all the bits in front of it whereas as you can see with this one the weave matches all of this it matches here and it matches on the oil cap and that is going to look so much better it's going to flow way nicer and as obviously as you can see as well this is actually black and not this weird faded yellowy color which is going to be great too super simple one this it's literally just take all of these off swap it over and replace it with this it's going to be much nicer as you can see i have the skunk 2 like low profile washer kit <laughs> Let's get this next to the new one just to see just how much of a difference the condition is because I can already see it's crazy. Pretty major difference. This is actually the right color for carbon fiber, not this faded sort of yellowing color. It almost looks like Kevlar to be honest. So this one has got quite a lot of damage on it. It's cracked here. It's got a load of scuffs on it. It's faded. It's also got like some weird weave thing going on here. If you can see that cracked and just damaged, you can see the damage there. Again, I got this as part of a bundle, so I didn't mind putting it on the car at the time because it was free. Basically, I actually, it arrived with everything and I was surprised. So it was like an added bonus to everything I'd ordered already. But the Carbon My Ride one is so much fresher, so much nicer, nice and glossy as well, as you can see. Let's get this on the car. This should be the easiest install of all time. There we go, she's installed. And how much better does that look now? Just everything actually is the right color of carbon fiber in here now. So once again, a huge shout out to Carbon My Ride sending that piece out. And you can use my code OLLIEP3 to save yourself some money on that piece. I've also got their carbon slam panel in here, their fuse box cover, and I've got various other bits around the car as well. So go check out the website. I'll leave a link down below for that. This looks so, so much better now whole engine bay looking super fresh. So now this is done, let's move on to the next thing and that is the brakes on this car. They've been letting the car down for so long. Anyway, let's head over to JR and get them sorted. Right guys, I'm down at JR and they are doing me a huge favor because they don't actually offer this as a service anymore, but they are spraying my Brembo calipers today and oh my God, is it needed. It's letting the car down. It's been letting the car down ever since I've had the calipers, to be honest. It's always been on my list of things to do. They're doing this for me, even though they've stopped offering this. So unfortunately, Unfortunately, you can't come and get this done too, but I'm gonna show you some of the process anyway, just because it's cool to see the transformation. Brembo calipers in the front, the DC5 ones, they're staying red actually. I think the red suits it perfectly, but they were just so chipped up and dodgy from whatever had happened to them in a past life, whatever, just the years of use. So they're going fresh red, and I'm gonna just get the rear calipers painted in black as well, so they blend in a bit. I don't think the red would work on the back as well. I just think the caliper's too small. I don't think it's worth like accentuating them. They've already got the wheels off and have started sanding stuff down so let's jump in and I'll just show you some bits of the process. So as you can see sticker's gone and oh, it's all getting sanded down and everything to get ready for paint. In the rear currently getting sprayed down back here too. These in black I think just hides them away. Fast forward some time and things have obviously escalated. The entire car is being bagged up and protected. Completely bagged up around here as well, so nothing is exposed that's gonna get sprayed. It just seems like this car is getting bagged up all the time. It hasn't been too long since it was like this at Motion Motorsport, which is, I find quite funny. Boom, look at this already, just full one color. And the other side is the same, and also the rear calipers. They are currently white as well. Fast forward again, and look at this. So much better, completely fresh in red. Just looks amazing. now that it's gone black you can't really see it in the shot anymore but yeah looks so good when it's completely black like this so this 
this is the final lacquer layer going on now. This is basically just sealing it all in so it's actually going to last and stay that vibrant red that it currently is. Okay, fast forward some time and as you see the car is fully unwrapped, everything is dried and ready to go. Let's see what these wheels look like back on the car. Okay, here we go, the moment of truth. The moment I guess I've really been waiting for since I got these brakes about four years ago. I don't know if you can just see just how little gap there is. The gap is bigger than I remember it being. That's the dream right there. When I was a kid, I wanted red Brembo's behind a set of wheels and that's what I've got. So I'm gonna let the guys actually fully finish up, torque down the wheels and put the center caps in before I show you the final result. But oh, looks so good. They also sorted out, my dad like curb one of the wheels in the time since I was last here. So they're very kind and sorted that out as well. So just a reminder guys, if you wanna get your wheels done, unfortunately they don't do the brakes anymore. If you wanna get your wheels done, you can get them booked in here at JR and you can use my code OR10 to save yourself 10% as well. They don't obviously just do the gold color, they can do any color that you want and they do diamond cutting. Go check out the video I did here when I got my wheels done originally to see exactly what goes into the process all of that okay it doesn't do it justice this looks so much better in person than it does on the camera right now and another thing i mean it's obviously quite dark back here anyway but you cannot see the rear calipers which is i guess actually the plan of being black so i'm going to leave links for jr they've actually got a youtube channel now so if you're interested in more of the process but with more wheels than just mine then go have a look at that i'll leave a link to that down below and i'll leave a link to their socials and everything as well tiktok instagram all of that stuff so huge shout out to jr once again for sorting all this out right i'm gonna head home because i got just over an hour drive and it's rush hour and i'm in wembley so i'm definitely gonna get stuck in some traffic so guys, I said in my wheel refurbishment video that I had ordered some Enki stickers and they arrived, well they actually arrived quite a while ago, but since having the car completely clean, I know that the wheel is about as clean as it possibly can be. In my box here of stickers for the car, I have the Enki stickers. They are disgustingly expensive from Enki. These little stickers, there's eight of them, they cost me 50 pounds. That's right, 50 pounds from Japan. Well, I've got real Enki RPF ones. I wanted to keep that sort of genuine thing going. Yes, I know it's just a sticker, but I've got a picture of an RPF one here because I'm gonna try and match where they are stuck on here. Also, if you're curious on what kind of stickers I got in the sticker box of the car, I've got quite a few Acuity bits. Shout out to Acuity. Progress from the rear anti-roll bar, more Acuity. This is where I store my genuine Honda decals for the Type R stickers on the side. And we've got some genuine spoon stickers in here too that I still don't know what to do with. So, oh, and some Skunk 2 stuff too. So I got these spoon ones I got from Spoon EU when they were at Jatfest Donington years ago. Let's go out to the car and stick these on and finish off the wheels, it's gonna be so good. I've got that photo on my phone. So it looks like we've got this here. It looks like it's in here and there. Let's do this, this is kind of scary. Wow, these are way harder to do than I thought they would be. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the transfer tape on there for now whilst I do the other one. I'm hoping this one's gonna be a bit easier. So the interesting thing about this obviously is this sticker goes upside down. All right, let's see if I can even get this front tape off without peeling the sticker again. Yes, that looks so good. Those stickers completely change how this looks to me. That black accent works so perfectly. You usually see the gold version of these with the red sticker. I didn't really like that too much. I know it would have gone with the brakes, but this black looks so good. Oh, just how this whole thing's come together now with the fresh red brakes, those stickers on there, this looks so good. All right, anyway, I'm gonna churn through, get all the other ones done on all the other wheels, and then I'll come back to you. Guys, I am so happy with how this looks now. This is sick because this is the final look. This is how it was always in my head supposed to be. So I'm super happy. Those stickers just add this little touch and just brings it back to, well, how they were when they were black, I suppose. Right, let's move on to the next thing. Alright guys, down at Caffeine and Machine, I've come with the 9K Everyday Lot, although by the time I'm now filming this, a lot of them have left. Either way, gonna have a look around and show you all the cars that have shown up today, because it's a bank holiday Monday, and as you can see, there are cars showing up as we speak, and yeah, this is pretty mental. So yeah, let's have a little walk around. This M3 is pretty sick, gold wheels look cool. It's got the carbon roof as well. This Porsche. It's rad. Look at the decals on this. It's got these cool like pinstripes down the side. And we're down here. This R34 is a GTT. 
you can see carbon wing load of ft2s here which we'll get to in a bit yeah gtt as you can see pretty wild then it's basically honda central down here so it's fn2 got this fk2 this thing is super fast fk8 here <laughs> we got this jazz with a type r badge on the front which is pretty funny fk8 here on some work wheels those look super cool I like again love the red little accent works really well the first of many fd2s here this is on some gold rpf ones shows you how gold these are compared to mine it's like a slightly different color but this is so good black wing it's also got the red stickers which as you've just seen i decided to opt against we've got this Porsche Boxster, I think that is here. Got this 350. This FK2 has got some chunky spoon wheels on it. It's just oh, such a good choice. Doesn't have the yellow accents on these, but Spoon Rager Masters or the, the SW388s, I think, off the top of my head. I could be completely wrong, so don't hold me to that. Got carbon mirror caps and stuff on this. Got C36 moving here. Another one of these FK8s with the work wheels on it. it. Looks super good. Got these cool little additions on the back as well. You see that compared to the standard wing. Wow, this one's obviously not completely standard because it's got that kick up at the back. HKS exhaust on this one not that you can really see and this one's got i think this is also hks could be wrong but it's got carbon tips oh cool it's got a little uk badge like on the jdm ep3s as well and we got this blue fk8 on some bronze tees classic wheel can't go wrong with that a couple of lotuses here got ep3 hiding away here and this evo is super rad i can't really get around the front but there's a load of cool like jdm brand stickers all over this thing so it must have some cool parts german machine shop that's super cool yeah these carbon rally art steering wheel with some carbon oh you can really see that in there then we have this which is super rad this is an actual s2000 type s like jdm import some work wheels but this is cool look so this is an sr3 like in my ep3 but retrimmed it's very interesting to know that these actually fit in here just pretty cool but this recaro bucket for the driver's seat is just so so sick it's car harness as well spoon wheel just, yeah loads of cool bits on this it's got this wing on the back as well there you go type s badge on it super cool it's got these little spats down here as well if you can see those got another s2000 here it's a bit more standard but still got some old school work vs wheels on it classic jdm wheel that isn't it, it looks a bit bbse but rad yeah got a hard top on it well this is the one that just moved that i just showed you just now but and we've got this with C28N's the ultimate wheel for any Honda. He's a Mugen. And we've got a wing on the back as well. It's just so good. That rear diffuser is amazing as well. As you can see, that is the difference between these two. It's got the rear brake light in it as well. Another one here. Yeah, that's pretty sick too. This is on T37's AP Racing brakes on the front as well. This must be a pretty sweet track monster. What a setup. And then we've got this EK9 front, but look at the back of it. Not what you're expecting to see. So like here, it just looks like EK9, doesn't it? And then it's not mad. I literally know nothing about this. How wild is that? So walking back up to the front and this is constantly changing actually. So I've just had some food and this has all changed up here. Got this WRX here, a few bits on that. Crazy rally vortex generator thing up on the top. It's only places like Cafe de Machine that you see a mini or something next to a 720S, all black, everything black. It's mad, like the, the rear wing on this alone is wider than the Mini, which is so funny. It's super, super clean, this Mini, actually. This thing's pretty mad. No idea what this actually is. This must be a proper chiller to drive. Cavalier here. And that paint match valve cover as well. A couple of hot hatches next to each other, but obviously different vibes. So we've got GTI 30th Anniversary Edition, Edition 30s. And then we've got this Clio that's to celebrate the F1 Championship. They built some of these 370 here. We've got this bag's Focus next to this lovely Accord Euro R. Championship white is the best. Rad Enkies on it as well. So these are NT01s, I think. Could be wrong. And next to it is this Jag. It's pretty rad as well. Subaru and this Martini liveried Polo. Interesting one. Got this MX-5. I actually really like the graphics on this. Look, drift missile kind of thing. Do quite like the idea of a livery for my S2000 at some point when it looks a bit more crazy, but we'll see. We'll see. RS4s. Big fan of these. Love and Avant, one of these. One of the new Lotuses. Pretty cool as well. Subaru BRZ. Looks super good. Lower to stuff. C63 AMG. Premier Edition EP3. Got this Volvo here. And we've got this FK8 that's got Mugen front lip. It's got the T37s on it. I think these are Mugen caps on here as well these carbon bits here that looks like some side skirts potentially as well i don't know too much about the options for this car but very cool nonetheless e36 race car well it's got a full interior but it looks more like dtm kind of style that front lip is massive it's kind of similar to the s2000 front bumper really and we've got this lupo here as well that's nice and low got a golf here got a polo gti there as well and we've got a scirocco over here we've got this volvo wagon rolling out sounds pretty grumbly pretty cool 
various more standard looking cars here. This Audi S1 over here is pretty nice. The yellow colour just looks so good. Here we've got this Civic next to a Monaro. Just heard this Porsche coming through. Listen to this thing. That is so sick. Porsche GT3. One day. I think that's the way I'm leaning. One day I'll have one, one day. Focus RS here, got an Audi S3 here as well. Clio 172 or 182, got this Carrera. Then we've got a couple of Audis. We've got an S5, I'm assuming this is an S5 as well. We've got this RS4, got a Mustang here, which is the V8 one. We've got Focus ST, Chameleon tint on that. Our bar, another Subaru. We've got this MR2, which is pretty wild. It's like Moret style headlight, almost like MX-5 headlights in there as well. Pretty cool. Next to this, got this EP2 with some Evo Enkis on it. Almost everyone seems to have left or just moved their cars somewhere else around here. But this is the 9K every day, like first group meet of the year. But we have EP3 here as well. And we've got various S2000. So fun fact, this was the color of S2000 that I nearly bought. And as you can see, it is very nice, but I think I did make the right choice. I love this color. And actually in person, it looks more purple than navy, which is actually why I ended up going with the blue I did, because I really wanted it to be more of a dark navy, but still super cool color. And yeah, this was nearly the color I bought. And then we've got this one here, which is rad. Jay's racing style bonnet in carbon. Very cool. Spoon brakes, just like mine, but here's a blue. And then we've got a big APR racing wing on the back as well. I cannot wait to get a wing for mine. Still undecided whether I'm gonna do Jay's or Voltex, even though I know that Voltex obviously makes it for Jay's. But yeah, look at that. Can't wait to have a wing on mine. It's gonna be amazing. This Octavia is pretty jokes. Lowered on some wheels. And we've got this black with tan interior, which is pretty cool. Let's show you this super muddy underfoot. Yeah, look at that. Super cool interior. Wooden steering wheel to match as well. Very cool. And we've got my car next to it. You will know this one. And we've got my Tom's car as well. A couple more S2000s here. This red is sick. That is all the cars on show here today. So made it back from Caffeine and Machine and unfortunately I have some bad news guys. It looks like the mud, because as you saw in that video, super muddy around where my car was. Some of that mud got on my car and there must be something mixed in with that mud because it was only on the car for about five hours. I got back and washed the car and it's damaged the clear coat or has had some sort of reaction with the paint on the rear quarter of the S2000, which is so annoying because obviously this is such a massive panel. At the moment, I don't actually know what I'm gonna do about it. Let me show you what I'm talking about so you can see exactly what I mean. So you should be able to see this here here, all these little bits here. We've also got it down here. It's really hard to show on camera, but in person it's super obvious. Yeah, there's loads of little bits. Basically all of that, it looks like you'd expect the damage from bird poo or something to be set on it for however many weeks or whatever. This was literally five hours. It feels rough to the touch. Pretty grim, unfortunately. So at the moment, I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna do about this. Not an ideal way to end the video, but hopefully you've enjoyed this one, guys. The Civic looks so good now. It is really getting close to having all those little bits finished and sorted the way I want them. Just looking at it right now, it just looks so good. Anyway, leave a comment down below on what you think of how the Civic looks now, but also of what you think to the damage, I guess, of the S2000. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this one, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.